you already saw this particular video we are going to belongs to the new algorithm for training of the same data say that is a water quality prediction so for this we are going to use the ADA boosting classifier because in the last four we already trained for the four model we have done for the logistic regression we have done for the decision tree we have done for the random forest also we have done for the uh, support vector machine even we have done for the KNN okay now this particular video will be belongs to this particular that is a ADA boosting classifier we can just write here ADA boost we can just write here ADA boost classifier Yes, okay we can just write add a boost classifier so for, first of all what we are going again we are going to import the same thing now i'm going to do the fast forward so in this particular video uh, we will see about the ADA boosting classifier from sk learn dot ensemble the how we are going to go with this particular random forest the same as it is we are going to go with the ADA 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 boost classifier please ignore some if background noise is coming it's like some work construction is going on Okay, so from sklearn.ensemble, we have to just import this particular, I hope it's giving the error, ensemble, e-n-s-e-m-b-l-e, okay, we have to just import the ADA boost, ADA boost, okay, boost classifier, classifier, let's see, let's run this one, we are able to see, we are importing this uh, ADA boost classifier. Then after what we are do doing, making the object of this particular model. After this particular ADA boosting, we will just use one more algorithm that is XJ boost. Then that's it for the, all the classifier algorithm. And then after we will see on the which particular uh, model we are going to pay, uh, take that model for the water quality prediction. Okay. So ADA boost classifier is basically how we are going to do. So from uh, making the object of this particular, making object of that is a model we can just say or anything you can just write here i'm just writing a model underscore we can just write ada boosting ada i can just write here and i'm just making the object of this particular ada boosting classifier and it is the one of the best algorithm we can just say it is one of the best algorithm it's not always the best because we are going to use the if you if you are going to un understand about the ensemble learning you will have one category of the random forest and one category of the ada boosting so ada boosting they are going in the sequence wise and the random forest they are going to train for the parallel so this whole thing again you can just see in the theoretical part already i have the videos of that so in the ada boosting classifier we have to just make the object again it is taking that an estimator they are going to find that 50 like total 50 times it is going to pass for the sequence of the model it means total 50 model they are going to use for and learning rate they are going by default that is one and learning rate is basically how fast your model is going to be learned you can't keep the learning rate too high you can't keep the learning rate too low you have to just keep learning rate so that your models will be trained you can't keep so much high learning rate that it can be over suit problem this is the really the concept of the deep learning if whenever you are, you are going to start with the deep learning you will get more advanced to this because the machine learning is basically all are the classical machine learning algorithm but now it is mainly we are going to use the deep learning method for that so now what we are just doing model underscore ADA boosting classifier I am just keeping as it is if, if, if up to you whether an estimator you can just play with that an estimator on which an estimator you are getting a better that is basic better accuracy i'm just writing here from now 100 and just running this one and then after i'm just training the model okay training the model i'm just writing here and then after model underscore ada and then after i'm just writing a predict okay that is uh, sorry predict i'm just i'm just writing a fit it is basically used for the training of the model and here we have to just pass to two parameters that is x underscore 10 comma y underscore trend this is what the parameter i'm going to pass and uh, let's see the model is training and the model has been trained and then after the next part is basically we are going for the making the prediction part making prediction okay so now in the making making the prediction prediction of ADA boosting classifier is basically model underscore ADA dot predict we can just write here dot predict okay I can just write here predict and then after I can just write here y underscore test and then after I can just pass here the second parameter basically call as a Oh, that is basically uh, what we can just why I'm just passing why I'm just this. I'm so sorry, my mind is not in the same place. So we have to just write here model dot predict. Basically, we have to just pass the feature so that we can get some output. That is what model has been predicted and what actually it is. We can just match with the y test and what model has predicted. We can we are it is we are going to store in the variable that is called pred underscore ada so that we can just get the accuracy. And now after that we are going to calculate the accuracy. 
accuracy check or anything whatever you can just say so i am just writing here accuracy underscore of ada boosting ad i'm just writing here accuracy score i can just write here i hope so it might give us better accuracy i don't know but let's see so uh, i can just write here and i can just pass the y underscore test and then after i can just pass here print underscore ada okay and then after i can just run why it's going to come this uh that is the uh, accuracy in the score underscore ada into 100 this is what we can just write here we are getting only 60 percent wow we are not getting if this was my expectation not so in the ada boosting classifier we are getting a 60 percent that is really less even than of the i think logistic regression we were, might was getting something 61 percent uh, let me check for lost regression yeah for the lost regression we also are getting 61 percent but we can just train we are you can't say that this is the final final training example or the final uh, that is the uh, uh, accuracy of your model even you can just play with this particular and an estimator if i'm going to pass here for the 50 no, sorry why i'm just passing there if i'm just going for the 50 let's see what the, it is going to come accuracy uh 61 even the 61 if i'm going to pass for the 200 so let's see what's the accuracy we are getting something something we might 61.4 so you are just it's like the rock 61 is changing but only the floating value that is 4354 4 is going to be changed and even you can just play with the learning rate learning rate means you can just keep a learning rate by default they are just keeping as a one you can just decrease the learning rate i think so you can learning rate okay so even if we can just go more detail in this so learning rate we can just keep as i think for now by default they are just using as something zero point uh, sorry some uh, they are going to use something one but even you can just play like a zero point zero one we can keep let's see but it's not going to give that much effect but yeah it might accuracy is giving 60 percent wow. so this is basically hyper parameter tuning you are going to do means it's not you are going to depend only the what default parameter you are going to classify because the hyper parameter is basically once you are just train your model i have just explained this thing about in the first introduction in the pi uh, that is a machine learning how the we uh, we already train the model but we are going to check for the hyper parameter we are just changing some we are just tuning the parameter on which parameter we are getting the better accuracy here i have just passed 0 0.01 we are getting something better accuracy than of the lost regression and decision tree but even if i'm just passing more less uh, that is a, a particular uh, we, we might get better we, we lost the accuracy so we will we will stick with the 0 0.01 again you can just go with the 0 point you can just apply the for loop it, is, it will be really easy for you for now i'm just going to show you how we are getting we are getting a better accuracy by 0 0.02 even you can just check the accuracy with the 0 0.03 or you can apply the simple for loop for now for showing to you only i'm going to for that i think for now i'm just keeping as 0.03 so we are getting 64 percent means we are getting better accuracy than the logistic regression we are getting the better better accuracy than of the i think not then more than the knn but we are, might we are getting the better accuracy than of the decision tree and the logistic regression so this was all about the ada boosting classifier so you can just tune this parameter and estimator you can apply the for loop how we have just applied the same as it is it's up to you if you want to do more have a parameter tuning it will take you can do how, how many time you can just apply or how, how many parameter you can check on which parameter you are getting a better accuracy you can just check this all thing so that's all for this video see you in the next video thank you